I'm wearing a duster that I made. It's a Berta pattern. I've shared it several times before and I just love this thing. It's just so nice and cozy to just throw on and it's only 50 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to 70. So I just threw it on with a shirt and a pair of jeans that I thrifted. So this will keep me nice and comfortable until it heats up and then I'll have to take it off. It is 7.17 in the morning. This car wash opened at 7 o'clock, so I don't know if it's going to be busy in here or not. But even if it is, I have time. I am early for where I'm trying to go, so that's one of the reasons why I came here because I have so much time to kill. So actually, you know what? There's not really anybody here, so that's good. <clears throat> I always get like the basic wash. I don't do the super duper high end wash. I just get something really, really simple. And this place has a lane for members and non-members and I'm not a member. This place is called Quack. I really like them. I always try to sell you a membership. Good morning. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no thank you. <laughs> they always want to give me a wipe, but I have some wipes in here so I don't really uh so I don't need the wipe really. I end up throwing them in my glove compartment and forgetting all about them. And which wash would you like today? Just a very basic one. And for ten dollars more, do you want to go unlimited? You can come back anytime. No, thank you. Okay. It's gonna be eleven ninety nine today. Okay. And you said it was just a good wash, right? Yes. <laughs> just making sure. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Just give me the good wash. And would you like tape for the back? No, that's any, okay. And would you like to borrow any towels? For drying? No, thank you. Okay, I'll just let it air dry. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. You too. That's the first time I've been offered towels. I wonder if that's a new thing. Put the car in neutral. Okay. Here we go. in my sewing room last night I was playing with some scraps and I was using my half scale dress form and I draped this little skirt with a tie on the side and I thought it turned out so cute so now I want to make the same skirt in a full scale and I think for the full scale skirt I'm going to actually use a pattern for the skirt portion but then I'll have to draft the ties that go on the side so I don't know when I'm going to do that because I was just playing last night and when I came up with it I was like oh this is adorable so I was just in there having fun but that's something on my list to do I don't even think I have any fabric for that so I was just playing around and that's what I came up with I want to encourage you to pray. I want to encourage you to get you a special time every day where you meet with the Lord. Just like we have a special time. Uh, the movies that you watch on TV, they all come on on the same time every week. There's a special time. We need a special time that we meet with God. I'm so excited so if you don't know I love denim and I just left savers and I found yards and yards of denim for $12.99 I don't know how much fabric this is but this denim goes on for days I had to get it don't have any plans for it but I can always find something to make out of denim. Oh, I am just too excited.
So I counted approximately four and five eighths yards. So that's pretty good, almost five yards. And I didn't find any spots on the right side of the fabric. On the wrong side, there was like some fading, but it doesn't show through on the good side of the fabric. So everything was okay. Cause sometimes when you get that thrifted fabric, sometimes you open it up and you'll see spots or it's damaged, but this was all pretty good. So I'm excited about that. Most fabric I've ever purchased in one long piece ever. For my next project, I want to make McCall's 8003. There is a bodysuit in this pattern and it is view C, this view here. And I want to make this bodysuit pattern. However, I want to change this cutout. I want my cutout to be more of a diagonal rather than this straight line here. So my plan is to alter the pattern so that I can get this look here. I took the front piece and what is this? The front yoke piece and I cut them out on some tracing paper. I'm going to line this front yoke piece on top of the front piece. So I'm going to make a line from here over to get my diagonal so I need to actually tape this down and I'm using removable tape. Once I get this taped and cut out then this is going to be my new piece for my front yoke and then I plan to use the front piece from the pattern instead of this piece so I'm just using this to hold it together for me while I get the shape that I want. So now I'm going to take my ruler and just kind of, I don't know, eyeball where I want this diagonal to start and where I want it to end. And I don't want to change my shoulder area so that's why I'm coming down a little bit. And I think this will be pretty good. So I'm going to draw a line from here down and then I'm going to cut that out and that's pretty much it. Once I cut this out then I will use this for my front yoke piece and then I will attach it to the front pattern piece when I get to that step in the directions. This is the original yoke piece it's cut on the fold so you can imagine this same side over here opened. Now it has become this piece. So I will just take this white paper and use this as my new pattern piece for the yoke front. View C has a collar and I did cut out the collar piece. I don't know where I put it, but I just changed my mind and decided that I don't think I want a collar. So now I'm going to cut out the neckband piece so that I can use this instead of the collar piece. So I'm still making the bodysuit, but I'll just make it without the collar on it. And I'm going to use this jersey knit that I purchased from LA Finch Fabrics. And I've had it for a little while. I didn't know what I was gonna make with it, but I think this will be the perfect top to use for that jersey knit fabric. All right, so here's the fabric. I like the color. And this pattern is rated as easy. There aren't that many pattern pieces. I cut out five pattern pieces. And I cut out a size eight. And there are only two notions, so you will need some elastic and some snaps. I have snap tape. I also have snaps, but I usually like to use my snap tape when I'm doing a bodysuit. And on the back of the envelope, it says to use snap tape. But if you don't have snap tape, you can use snaps. And that will work just fine. So I'm pretty much going to follow the directions in the pattern. But just because I cut my yoke front at an angle, I'm gonna show you how I will attach it to the top. So this is the front piece. And this is going to be finished with a narrow hem. 
and then the bottom of the yoke piece is going to be finished with a narrow hem also and then even if you don't alter your pattern you will take your yoke front and you're going to match it up to the top of the top and for me since I have this going at a slant I'm going to match up this corner over here like this so then my yoke front will look like this which is the look that I was going for so instead of it going straight across like the original pattern piece now I will have it at a diagonal and then once this is stitched down it will become one piece and then you will be able to put this with the back piece Thank you. 